This breakfast television segment is sponsored by Canada Diagnostic Centers, offering x-ray, ultrasound, and pain management services in Edmonton and Sherwood Park. It's 834 City is proud to support the Step and Stride event coming up on Saturday, September 6th. And we'll get to that in just a bit. But first, let me extend a hearty and warm hello to our special guest, Allison Wood and Brandy Labonte with Parkinson, Alberta. Allison, uh, you've been living with Parkinson's disease. I suppose you said you were you were diagnosed about 10 years ago, but yes. it was impacting you before then. Oh, yes, I had I first noticed a tremor in, in my a little tremor in, in my left finger, just uh, I guess like Mar Michael J. Fox did. But uh, I found out at the World Parkinson's Congress just last uh, last year in Montreal that even the heart problem that I seemed to have before that was also Parkinson's. The fact that I had to walk like this was also Parkinson's. So there's lots of things that happen to you before you are diagnosed. You lose your sense of smell, for example. Mm. So there's lots of things that happen. And, and you just go on getting better and better. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I, I want to uh, reference uh, very quickly the, the tragic loss of Robin Williams recently yes. and it's got everybody talking about Parkinson disease. I, I hope you don't mind if if we don't spend too much time no, talking about Robin Williams because you mentioned Michael J. Fox and when I look at an example of how someone can take what could be a devastating oh, yes. diagnosis in stride, yes. what a classic example he is. Exactly, and he's also an Antonian too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a really great point. Yeah. Uh, Brandy, I know that you do uh, tireless work with Parkinson, <laughs> Albert to help uh, people like Allison better understand the options that are available to them. Where do we stand when it comes to research and treatment options for people who face that diagnosis? There's a lot. Every day there is research happening, not only internationally and nationally, but some great research going on here uh, in Alberta as well. We've got a monthly uh, feature starting in the fall that will um, promote all the research that's happening here in Alberta. Now, uh, Allison, I, I, of course, you, you mentioned the tremor in your hand. And yep. We've been speaking for a short while here, and I know I noticed you trying to sort of manage it. You <laughs> cross your hands. Uh, yes, you know, the, the pastor in the church that I grew up in exactly. uh, dealt with Parkinson's for years and years. Mm -hmm. How does it affect you besides the tremors on a oh, daily basis? It, it does affect everyone on a daily basis. I, sometimes the medication works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes the side effects are just as bad as the disease problems are. So, you know, getting dressed in the morning can take up to two hours, or it might take as, as little as five minutes. I can never plan for what's going to be happening in the day and I have to sort of have backup plans for everything like am I going to be able to get here on time, am I going to be there on time, I can't do buttons anymore so all my clothes have snaps, mm. um, you know, and then on, on top of it not all the, all the problems are the disease itself, there's also a lot of non-motor problems besides the, the motor problems like not being able to sleep at night and being stuck in your bed because you can't move and having the bad dreams and all those sort of those things. Now, that. over the 11 years since mm -hmm. your diagnosis, have you, have you found that there have been improvements or expanded availability of yes. resources? Yes, yes. In fact, uh, I, I'm just now on, a, on a, um, a new drug that allows me to have back the six hours I used to get between drugs that I was, had lost for two years and it was, I was down to two. And, the, and then having to have protein at certain times and not have it at certain times, that's being helped by this this particular drug. I've also found that taking singing lessons has helped me keep my voice, and so that was fun. Wow! And, yeah, and um, and I take the Alexander technique, so that even though right now if I try to stand up and walk, it would be a little bit difficult. I can actually get my brain to go through. Yes, take this step, and then go do this, and then do that. So yes, there's been lots of things that have it's helped. It's remarkable. Yes. Now, uh, very quickly, Brandy, before we run out of time, September 6th is the Step and Stride event. We're very proud to sponsor it uh, here at City. Of course, we know that the awareness and, and and the funds that this will generate will continue to help uh, people like Allison. What do people need to know about the event coming up on Sunday, September, Saturday, September 6th? Saturday, September 6th. They need to know it's our largest fundraiser of the, of the year. 55% of our revenues come from this fundraiser, and those revenues go to support the support and services, the education and the programming that we do, as well as the valuable funds for research. Perfect. Thank you both for being here. It's really great to chat with you, Allison and Brandy, as well. The Step and Stride event, you can find more information on it via the Inside BT link on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. We're back with news, weather, and traffic next, right here on Breakfast Television. This Breakfast Television segment is sponsored by Canada Diagnostic Centers, offering x-ray, ultrasound, and pain management services in Edmonton and Sherwood Park.